Shalom. This week's Sedra is Sedra's Vayikra. Although it seems like there are always shortcuts to, to getting to success, really, success demands that there are no shortcuts. This is especially true in business. And while it's true of all business, online businesses are for sure a, an example of where this is. It seems like sites like Facebook and Twitter and other social networking sites were overnight successes. But in truth, they didn't enjoy success until they were until the hard work was put in. Success demands hard work. This Dvar Torah will show how nothing in life comes without hard work. Human nature is always looking for shortcuts. Then, through the offerings described in this week's Dvar Torah, in this week's Sedra, excuse me, this Dvar Torah will demonstrate how things seem to be easy really aren't. The viewer of this Dvar Torah should gain an understanding of the importance of hard work simply by watching this Dvar Torah. Our Sedra begins the Sefer of Ayikra. It's the third of the five books of the Torah. And while Bereshit and Shemos concentrate mostly on stories, this Sefer, the Ayikra, concentrates on the laws of the offerings. One of the offerings discussed is in our Sedra is the sin offering, which is given when somebody sins. Hashem wrote, and apologize for reading, if one person of the people of the land commits a sin unintentionally, by his sin that he committed and, and is made known to him, he shall bring his sacrifice, an unblemished female goat, for his sin that he committed. And he shall lean his hands forcefully on the head of the sin offering. And he shall slaughter the sin offering in the place of the burnt offering. After describing all of the sins of the, of the sin offering, Hashem writes, Thus the Kohen shall make atonement for him, and he will be forgiven. It seems like the Torah is giving a quick and easy fix to, for our imperfections and our sins. I sin, and all I have to do is offer a sacrifice in the temple, and I'm forgiven. It right? seems pretty easy. If any principle of life is true, no pain, no gain, is definitely one of them. It seems strange that something as valuable as forgiveness of sin would come so easy with just the offering of a korban. The Rabbim explains that giving an offering isn't enough. It's not so easy. And he wrote, and again, I apologize for reading, but I want you to get hear the words properly. Those who bring sin offerings or guilt offerings must also confess his sins to God when they bring their sacrifices for their inadvertent or willful transgressions. Their fat sacrifices will not atone for their sins until they repent and make a verbal confession. Repentance is compromised of three difficult steps. Regret over one's sin, committing not to repeat their sin, and confessing their sin to God. If one takes these three steps seriously, then and only then does their offering affect atonement and forgiveness. Merely offering a korban accomplishes nothing. There isn't anything of value in life that comes without effort. Just as a korban is ineffective without repentance, all rituals are ineffective without effort and meaning. Praying mantra-like from a sitter has minimal benefit, as does requesting forgiveness from a person if the, the request of forgiveness doesn't really mean it. A lesson of this week's sedra is that everything in life requires effort, and to successfully create, creating a relationship with God is just one example, and probably the primary example of that. Shabbat Shalom.